Bonjour, bonsoir, frère Maxemio, moi salue nous dans nom Jésus et moi dis nous bienvenue sur Chanel Panouan. Si vous avez peine et rejoindre Chanel ça, nous invitez vous abonner si vous faites ça, comme ça vous rejoindre toute dernière vidéo que n'a publié. Je dis en pour te pour yon prophétie que yon pasteur américain qui relait Dana Coverstone et lui même lui porté à partir de plusieurs rêves que lui fait donc euh, rêve ça a commencé depuis la fin année 2019 côté dans rêve ça a il te joint prophétie donc moment pandémique au monde l'entre passé a il te ouais dans rêve là et calendrier année 2020 et ouais que te gon qui était à sanctuaire sous moi mars non il était sourire trois fois donc il en rêve là te ouais en pile monde avec tache né dans figure il te ouais et médecin avec sirène dans mes yeux de ouais donc en pile en pile monde des malades donc presque tout est événement qui est passé dans moi passé yo donc l'idée ouais ça on en rêve qu'elle te fait donc il fait plusieurs rêves mais dans rêve yo tout l'idée ouais et il y a un événement terrible qui est passé dans mon blanc entre moi décembre en mois septembre à moi novembre année ça donc nous allons attendre comment Pasteur Ali même t'a expliqué donc et prophétie ça a été déjoué. Donc il dit il pas un prophète mais il croit que dans le rêve ça a que le Saint Esprit inspire lui non il est capable de joindre des prophéties là dedans comme ça il t'a conseillé chaque monde qui t'a regardé vidéo que le publié pour capable de prier plus rester là car bon Dieu plus parce qu'il est capable de bien des événements terribles qui passent pour moi septembre à novembre à Nessa, surtout dans l'Amérique. là. On nous dit comment Pasteur a expliqué la prophétie. Ça. Hey, this is Dana Coverstone. I'm a pastor, I'm a husband, I'm a father, I'm a patriot, I love this country. And uh, I can confirm the first part of what I'm about to tell you because I told some men at a prayer group uh, back in December, second or third week of December. I want to share three specific dreams that I've had recently, uh, going back to December. Two that I've had this week, both both Monday and last night, Monday and Tuesday night. Because I believe, number one, they are prophetic. Uh, the first one that I had has come explicitly true based on the events of March through June, <clears throat> the month in which we're living. And uh, I do not claim to be a prophet by any means. I understand, though, that some dreams and visions by their nature have a prophetic tendency to them. But I do believe I've seen things, uh, both that have happened as relevant by the first dream that I had and some things that I've seen recently. So you can take what I'm about to say with a grain of salt. You can pray about it. You can think about it. Uh, but I believe that I have a warning uh, for the country, a warning for rural America, a, rural, uh, a, a, a warning for America overall. But here's what happened. Back in December, I woke up. I had a dream. And in that dream, I saw a calendar starting January 2020, and it was being flipped. And I saw January, I saw February, I saw March. And when March came up, the hand held it, and I saw the fin a finger underline the month of March and then tap it three times. So underline the month of March, tapped it three times. So to me, it was emphasis. Something's going to happen in March. And then I saw April, May, June. And when June came, the hand underlined June again, and tapped it three times. Then, in the vision, I saw people marching. I saw protests. I saw people wearing masks. I saw lines going into hospitals. I saw um, typical medical doctors with needles or, 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 or syringes. I saw people on ventilators. I saw people who were very, very sick, very, very ill. I saw newspaper headlines trumpeting thousands of people getting sick. I saw um, ambulances just flying down roads. I, and then I saw, I saw cities on fire. I saw buildings being burned. I saw protesters with masks. Uh, I saw people who were had their fists in the air. People who were yelling and screaming, angry as at, just at the world. <clears throat> I saw courthouses. I saw state houses surrounded. I saw people who were mad at the world. Uh, I saw I saw guns, shotguns, specifically put in the air, held like this. And I saw barriers within cities. Um, I told 
several men in my church about this, and I can confirm who those men were, and they'll confirm that what I'm telling you is what I've told them. I saw absolute chaos. And the other thing I saw was vultures flying over large cities. Not just the ones that were burning, but I saw vultures flying over the cities and I saw smoke rising, and I saw I saw people fearful. I saw people terrified. I saw people inside their homes, and looking out the windows, the curtains of their windows, with guns in their hands because there was absolute fear. Then I heard the words, "Brace yourself, brace yourself." So since December, I've been hearing those words, "Brace yourself, brace yourself." Um, January, February came, didn't seem too much. I reminded the men of the dream. And then in March, boom, COVID-19 hit. And things started shutting down. Churches were shut down. Business were shut down. The economy shut down. Uh, then we began to see the protests starting in, Mar in May in Minneapolis. And all those things began to go on. So where we are at the end of the primary election here in Kentucky. And now there's talk of more shutdowns. I just heard the governor uh, talk about schools opening back up and things of that nature. <laughs> But the things that I saw in a dream and vision back in December are the same things that I watched in the news almost every day since March through June. All this time I kept hearing, brace yourself, brace yourself. Um, I spend time in prayer. I spend time in the Word. I'm a pastor. And it's not just my job. It's something that I enjoy doing, I love doing. And I'm very interested in the news around the world. I read 40 newspapers a day from all around the world. I, I keep up with news uh, and other parts of the, uh, of, the, of the nations, better sometimes than I hear here because it's hard to know who to trust. But I get news from all over the world, all around the world, from both liberal and conservative sources. Um, I'm very well read. I'm very understanding of how nations work. Uh, I've traveled quite a bit, and I'm not just making these things up. I can confirm what I have said. And with that in mind, on Monday night, I had another dream. And it woke me from my bed. I made notes about it. I shot some video of myself, just making sure I can remember. But here's what I saw. I saw a calendar. Start with the calendar. And as I was having this, the calendar was up, a white figure appeared. And it, it, to me, it was, it was a rep representing God, the Holy Spirit, something pure, something righteous, something true, something holy, because there was nothing... Um, Nothing sinister about it, nothing evil. But I heard the voice say, part two, part two. And I saw June go up. I saw July, I saw August, and then I saw September. And I saw the finger underneath the word September, and I like, like emphasizing it, and tapped it three times. And then I saw October come up, and then I saw November. And this is when it got real to me in the dream. I think the intensity, uh, according to my Fitbit, when I woke up, my heart rate was about 180. So that was Monday night. It was also a night that I woke up not feeling very well at all. I was up during the night, not feeling well. But anyway, the minute the finger underlined November three times, instead of tapping it, I saw a fist ball up and it hit the calendar. And literally, the calendar exploded into the wall. The numbers seemed like they were 3D and they were falling, they were just flying everywhere. And there was a cloud of chaos that started. And then the next thing I saw was I saw, I saw armed protesters. I saw fighting in the streets. I saw people pummeling one another. I saw businesses shuttered and shut up. I saw, I saw schools closed. I saw schoolrooms with cobwebs hanging in them and like things like papers falling off the wall and posters falling like no one had been in them for months. I saw banks bank buildings with the roofs being taken off. And it looked almost like alien abduction because money was just flying through the roof into some type of like a vacuum cleaner. That sounds kind of strange, but I was watching wealth just being taken. I saw politicians in back rooms uh, making deals with people, pat, you know, patting people on the back and, and laughing and smiling and smirking. And I saw monuments. I saw, I saw Washington, D.C. burning. I saw Washington, D.C. blazing. I saw fires everywhere. I saw people being rounded up. I saw Chinese and Russian soldiers on the ground. And Russian soldiers were telling the Chinese soldiers to go and pick up these people, round up these people, secure this quadrant, secure this area. I saw blue helmets of the U.N. I saw military things taking place. I also saw no sign of President Trump. I saw no sign of leadership in Washington, D.C. 
But the vultures that I had seen were now like gargoyles, and they were 10 feet off the ground, 10 to 15 feet off the ground. And they were just attacking people mercilessly. I saw people hiding in their homes and garages. I saw churches being burned. I saw homes being burned. I saw absolute chaos. And the fist punch on the November of 2020 is what got my attention. And then I heard the words again, brace yourself, brace yourself, brace yourself. That has been something that I have heard for almost almost seven, well, seven months now. Starting once we get to July, it's going to be seven months. Um, and once again, I'm not claiming to be a prophet. I'm not claiming, proclaiming, you know, just, we'll see what happens in November, through November, and see if I'm right about this. But I know when I hear God's voice. I know, I know how, what God's voice sounds like to me. I know when he speaks. I know when I have a dream that I know is him. And the things that I was seeing, I don't say this to scare people, but I say this to warn people that there are some pretty sinister things coming down the pike. And not just for the lost, but for God's people as well. Uh, the second dream I had last night, and it woke me up. Uh, in this dream, uh, we just had a yard sale to help fund a, a team going to Ecuador this next year. And we had a yard sale. And I had asked our secretary to get us some change for that secretary for that for that yard sale. So in the dream that I'm having, I walk to the bank, I walk into the bank to get some change. And on the door it says there's no change available. I saw the sign, it registered in my mind, but I walked on in, and the president of the local bank was at the teller station, and she had she was gonna be taking care of business. And I said, I need to get $10 and quarters for yard sale. And she said, I'm sorry, but the U.S. Mint is no longer making currency or making change like pennies, nickels, dimes, quarters, half dollars. We're not doing that anymore. And I said, well, what do you mean? She said, they've stopped doing it. And I said, well, how are we going to be able to charge $1.50 for anything? And she said, prepare for hyperinflation and just charge $2. And then she said to me in the dream, oh, and by the way, $1 and $5 bills will follow soon after that. And then I heard those words, brace yourself, brace yourself, brace yourself. And I woke up, I wrote these things down. Um, I've never gone on video and recorded the dreams that I've had. And I, I hesitated to not do the one I had back in December. But everything I saw in that dream in December came true between March and June, when in the, in, in the dream I was showed March through June. And so I don't think I would be doing uh, anyone a service if I don't share what I saw in these dreams and visions. And I believe that we're going to see not just a second huge wave of COVID between September, October, November, but we're going to see major things with the elections. We're going to see major chaos in our country. We're going to see troops in our cities we're going to see the protests get even worse. We're going to see buildings burn. We're going to see what could only lead to civil war in this country. And so for my friends that are believers, I'm, here, I'm just going to share you what, what I think you need to hear. First of all, you need to be preparing food. You need to make sure you've got alternative forms of currency like silver or gold or whatever. I believe you need to have an ample supply of both guns and ammunition. And that's not just the Second Amendment fan in me coming out. That is the things that we're seeing. Uh, they're talking about defunding the police. That means one thing. You're on your own in a lot of areas. Uh, I also believe you need to be praying like you never prayed before. Make sure your family knows what's going on, where you are. Have some, some communication between your family about if certain things happen, if certain things go down. I'm not saying get off the grid. And I've never, ever said anything like this in my church um, I have said I, I believe things like this could happen, but I've never done what I'm doing right now. And I'm telling you that between September and November of this coming year, and you'll be able to check me, you know, if, if, if by the time we November nothing's happened, or December 1st, man, you call, you call me on this and say, Dana Coverstone, you're an absolute idiot and a fool for saying those things. Go right ahead. Because I realize I'm responsible for what I've spoken. But I also know what I sense, and I know the Holy Spirit's voice enough to know that what I've heard, I believe is going to happen. And what I heard in December happened between March and June. Not because I'm a prophet, but because dreams have a prophetic edge to them sometimes. I've been doing a whole series on dreams and visions. I'm going to finish that series up tonight, 
on my uh, at our church, and I'm going to talk about why dreams and visions are literally an extension of the spiritual gifts of 1 Corinthians chapter 12, because word of wisdom, word of knowledge, discernment, all those things are required for dreams. And I pray, Lord, show me what these things mean that I have seen. Show me how to interpret them and what they are. Uh, and right now as I speak this, it is, it is June 24th, Wednesday night at 5.30 p.m. in Burksville, Kentucky. I'm in my office at the church, Living Word Ministries in Birchville, Kentucky, sharing this. Not to scare you, because I believe, you know, look, God gave the prophets of the Old Testament a lot of warnings. Not to scare people, but to prepare them for what was coming. And so I'm, I'm, I'm challenging you. Don't just throw my word away. Don't just think I'm some, some preacher trying to get people to come. That's not it either. Because look, the Bible says in the last days will be a great falling away. Jesus tells people to endure to the end. Make sure you endure to the end. Why? Because people won't endure sound doctrine. They're going to they're hear something. You know, Some are going to hear me and go, oh man, he is on drugs or something. I'm just telling you the dreams I've had. You can do with them. You can interpret them the way that you want to. But I'm going to declare that I believe we're going to see between September and November incredible, terrible, awful, nasty, bad things happen in this nation. And for the people who are not prepared for it, it's not just going to catch them catch them in a bad place. It's going to destroy a lot of faith, a lot of hearts, a lot of relationships, a lot of people. It's going to, it, the aim is to kill this nation. Because right now, we are a nation that stands in the way of a lot of the Antichrist principles like freedom, liberty, justice. First Amendment, Second Amendment, the Antichrist doesn't want those things. And yes, I do believe the Antichrist is alive and well on planet Earth. And I don't, like, I don't, I don't really care what people think about this video. You can call me whatever you want. You can say whatever you want about me. But wait till December 1st to say it. And if I'm wrong, I'll be the first one to come out and say, Folks, I don't know what I was thinking. I don't know what I ate that night. I've never had two dreams like this. I've never had a part one and part two. Part one came fully true. And part two, I believe, will as well. So, heed my words, folks. Believers... Stop messing around if you're not living for the Lord like you need to. Because the press, there, there's an olive press moment coming for the church in this country. An olive press moment. And we're going to get crushed and squeezed and pushed down. That's why I believe God keeps saying, brace yourself. He's saying this to me so I can say it to you. Brace yourself for the things that are coming. Endure till the end no matter how hard it gets. I'm not giving up the faith that I have in Christ. I've come too far in this walk and too far in my life to do that. But I want to make sure that others don't make that mistake and don't just walk away from it. Take up the cross, deny yourself, and follow him. Thanks for listening.